Really, the class of drugs, uh, pure nucleoside analogs, which is cladribine and pentastatin, moves the mark dramatically in classic hairy cell leukemia um, from being a disease that had a very short survival of a couple years to a disease that has a survival of a couple decades and really natural lifespan. Um, so it's not a, a life-limiting condition in many patients. Um, so that really is, purine analogs continue to be a standard of care, including repeat dosing of purine analogs like cladribine or pentastatin with or without rituximab, both as a first and subsequent treatment if a good remission is achieved. Um, the thing that's kind of evolving recently um, is use of uh, BRAF inhibitors in classic cell leukemia, which has the BRAF B600E mutation with rituximab. Um, very durable remissions can be realized with that. Granted, we don't have the you know 10 to 20 years of follow-up to say that this will be the same as purine analogs, but I think there is some idea in the field that at some point the standard might involve to include that as an initial or earlier therapy. And then um, in addition to the standard use of purine analogs, there's really been an expanding role for newer drugs in patients who either are unsuitable to get purine analogs um, or not benefiting from them, like having remission durations of less than two years. So this includes BRF inhibitors like vemurafenib. Um, at, you know, we have a very nice phase two study with ibrutinib suggesting a very uh, long duration of benefit in patients with hairy cell leukemia. Um, and then amoxetumumab pseudotox is a drug that can be used in that space. So I do feel that the standard for hairy cell leukemia is evolving to include um, earlier use of those drugs in patients where purine analogs might not be the most appropriate therapy. The other thing that's really important is that the subset of patients that have the variant of hairy cell leukemia, which is a biologically kind of distinct entity from classic, really don't have the same duration of benefit from purine analogs. Um, about half of them have TP53 mutations, which can limit benefit from chemotherapy. So in those cases, it's very difficult to say what the standard is at all. Um, I mean, the sort of standard could be considered purine analogs with rituximab, but I'm not really sure that should be the standard or appropriate um, treatment for most patients. So I think that is an area where earlier use of BTK inhibitors like ibrutinib, we had two previously untreated variant patients in our ibrutinib phase two study, um, or other novel agents um, might and hopefully will set a new standard for very durable remissions in patients with a variant of hairy cell leukemia.